Hi, it's Kim from Homestead Witchery again. Today I'm going to do an unboxing. Now this unboxing is from Kay's Magic down in Texas. I have thoughts about it, but I'm going to go over that at the end. So let's get opening. Okay, first I'm going to get rid of all the worms. And it's actually really well packed. Everything is... There's some stuff stuck in there. Uh, nothing would move around in there if you shook it. You might hear rattling, but I think it would just be the bee pollen. And there's a just a bunch of stuff in here. And here's the card. So first, we're going to look at these stones. And there is... little pieces of orchid calcite. This is fire quartz crystal for energy and strength. Orchid calcite, which is supposed to be black tourmaline orange calcite, like a mix. And this one is bloodstone. And I was reading it and I thought it said this was black tourmaline and I couldn't figure out why it wasn't. And then I looked again and it's bloodstone. This is tea and incense that I think is custom blended by Case Magic. They're really pretty. Look how pretty that is, just looking at it. That's the incense, and it's gorgeous. And that's the tea, and I'm actually kind of excited to try that because it's got flowers in it, but look how pretty. This is sand that's going to be underneath something you're burning as sort of insulation so you don't burn your table. This is some balm, beeswax balm with calendula. It's got coconut oil and beeswax with calendula and vitamin E. It looks good. Nobody's been sticking their fingers in it or anything. Then this candle, which smells amazing. I don't know what it smells like. I, could, I couldn't explain it, but it smells so great. A piece of Palo Santo, which I do not buy anymore or cell with a little algaes on it and the protect and some bee pollen and then I'm gonna stack them up all pretty so it looks nice so you can see everything I'm interested to see what I'm gonna do with the bee pollen can't you eat that I'm gonna try and eat it hopefully don't die but there it is and it looks all pretty I'm happy with it This was just a sample box. I think it was $20, and I also think she put extra things in here because it took so long to get, which is what I want to approach now. I paid for my box in February. Didn't hear anything all of February or March. In fact, I contacted, contacted my bank and asked for a refund. I asked them to reverse the charges because I got no communication from Case Magic, none whatsoever. I understand that there was a huge storm. I understand that supply was disrupted. I understand you may have been out of power for maybe, I don't know, let's say two weeks. February until now, it's April, actually it's May 1st, and I got it, I think, yesterday. Between now, between those times, you could have contacted your customers. I have a business. I expect the sort of treatment and service that I get. And if I know I'm going to be out of contact for a while, then I let people know. I would have shut my shop down if it were me. I would have contacted the people who paid me and said, hey, I'm not going to be able to fulfill this. I'm going to have to refund you. They'd be mad, but they would not be as angry as I still am. Because after I canceled the order or attempted to cancel it I had got a refund from my bank two weeks later if that I got an email from case magic saying hey you're we're taking the money for your next subscription box and it'll ship out soon and then two weeks after that is when it finally shipped so that's a long time of no communication, poor communication. They still haven't reached out to me because I said, hey, I'm going to review your box. You, actually, they give you 
a referral link. I said, can I use that referral link in my video? I'm not going to do that now because I don't recommend this box. Actually, I do recommend the box. I just don't re recommend this person doing the box. I just don't. I don't recommend this business. It has, actually is a really good box. I think this was $20. It's a really good deal. But you have to gamble as to whether or not you're going to get it or not, when you're going to get it. And I don't think I want to spend my money that way. I'm going to send my money to somebody that I can rely on and trust. And unfortunately, though, these are really beautiful products. And none of it seems to be mass produced. It all does seem to be handmade. They're interesting crystals. I just don't feel comfortable recommending them because they have such poor, they've given me such poor service personally. This does smell amazing though. And when my husband brought it in, after I done it, was done rolling my eyes about it. I said, that the box really does smell good. This smells amazing. I love it. And it is by, who is it from? Coventry Creations. It smells great. I would consider buying things from that because that smells amazing. It's packaged well. The things in here are interesting except the sand. That's a little bit weird for me. I use salt for that. It's supposed to go under your, like in your cauldron when you're burning and things and charcoal and things. Um, that's kind of weird for me. I wouldn't do that, but still some people do. And so it's an interesting, it is an interesting and novel thing to get in your box. I have not seen that anywhere else before. So that's interesting. Unfortunately, I'm going to say thumbs down on this box. I see, I feel bad because it's a really good box, but I'm going to have to say I don't recommend it because of the bad customer service. So I'm sorry, Kay's Magic, but there we are. I don't even think you'll even see this ever. And if you do, you probably won't reach out because you haven't reached out yet and I've complained to your email directly. Oh, and when the last time I tried to complain to their email, it bounced back. So I couldn't even do that. So I'm really frustrated with this situation because it is a great box, but the surface is questionable. So you be the judge. And that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.